Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Spirit Guide. So what we're going to do right now is uh, thank you for coming into my channel. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button, okay? I'm going to start posting more regularly, um, as I mentioned in my live, um, that basically I was going through some serious um, issues, family issues here. My mom had to have major surgery and therefore I was not filming, right? Um, I'm the kind of um, person that if something's going on major in my life, I really can't expend energy in other things, okay? So I kind of like basically, I'm just getting the cards together. I kind of uh, basically reserve my energy, okay? So that's basically what I was doing. I was reserving the energy that I would need to be there for my family and to be there for those in the situation who needed the help, okay? All right, so I'm back, all right? I'm back, back, back. And today's my first day back at work. I'm so excited. Look, I've made up all my dinner already. <laughs> I made my dinner and my breakfast because I work uh, late. So I made my dinner and my breakfast already. Anyway, so, you know, and I put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> So when I get home, I could just microwave, microwave and keep it going, okay? All right, so let's continue. All right, so let's see what we have here. I know there's a stability button here. I just can't find it. I'll try not to shake the table as much, okay? Thanks so much for coming into, into the live, guys. That, was, that meant a lot, okay? All right, so let's continue. I'm going to get the male's perspective. We're going to start off with the male's perspective. And then I'm going to see what Kipper has to say. I don't have any expectations for this reading, so I don't know what's going to come up. Okay, childhood fell out, like reminiscing probably. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on. Here we go. You saw it fall out. Ooh, we're talking about the spring. Okay, there's a masculine with the spring on his mind. Spring is renewal, right? Renewal. So, yeah, so let's see what else is going on. What else is going on with the masculine? Oh, what does it say? Future. <laughs> <laughs> uncertain future guys I think I need glasses but <laughs> Un uncertain future for future with the key is in reverse all right so someone um, is kind of contemplating what's gonna happen in the spring right hmm. what else is going on yeah two to tango I was just thinking about marriage <laughs> I swear I was I should have said it I was just thinking about marriage mm-hmm yeah so someone might be getting married. There's a masculine out there contemplating. Yep, contemplating marriage. Look at that. There's <laughs> a masculine contemplating marriage in the spring. I keep getting these marriage um, uh, readings. I don't know why they keep coming up. Congratulations to everybody. My goodness. Congratulations. Everybody out there getting married, right? Let's get one more. Let's see what else is coming up, right? So I saw Inquisitive and I forgot the other one that fell out. Okay. What what about this? Oh. <laughs> it says mirroring, right? Mirroring in reverse. These cards don't come in reverse. Even though I left future in reverse. That's an uncertainty card. That's why someone's uncertain about their future. They're mirroring, mirroring someone, okay? Yeah, let's continue. What about this mirroring, please? Yeah, they want to steer. So the masculine who's thinking about this, you're thinking in the springtime you might be getting married. There might be a tango, meaning a tango for me in this deck is marriage, a commitment, two souls becoming one, soulmates, right? But I left future in reverse, even though these cards don't come in the reverse uh, intuitively. I knew to leave this in reverse because someone's questioning the future. They're questioning if this relationship is going to last, if this is going to, because there is a marriage, whatever masculine this is, there is a marriage in the spring. There is going to be a union in the spring, okay? Whether the masculine does not understand it or not, meaning doesn't know if it's going to make it. This is not a situation where if the person doesn't improve themselves, they're not going to marry. No, there is a marriage coming. It is. It's just the masculine doesn't know once going into the marriage how it's going to work. Because right now the masculine is feeling like they're both. you're both mirroring each other. Like each person is doing what the other person wants them to do to keep them happy. But the masculine wants to steer. He wants to be in control. Okay, he wants to be in control. Uh, he wants to lead this relationship. Okay, I think Immobile came out in Grasshopper Spirit. Okay, so these two, I'll take them because they came out. But we'll see how they fit in. Because right now it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know. Unless, you know, grasshopper spirit, you know, of course, well, that's true. 
you know, so the masculine is settling down and he doesn't want to settle down right now, right? So he's inquisitive, right? So, you know, inquisitive meaning looking at other people, trying to figure out. Yeah, the masculine has cold feet, basically. This is what this is. But right now, I want to focus on this right here. This is the important message. The masculine feels like in this relationship, people are mirroring. The two, the couple is mirroring each other. There's no leader in this relationship, right? But he wants to steer. There's no leader. I don't know why he just doesn't do it. Why the masculine doesn't just take control if that's what he wants to do? Just steer the relationship. What happened? Right. So the masculine is feeling worn out, emotionally worn out. Yeah. Maybe this is a, a toxic relationship. Maybe there's a lot of arguing going on. Right. Yeah. And because he wants to, you know, like he's showing care and everything, but he's worn out from the fighting and arguing, or he's just worn out basically at this point in his life. So it's one of the two. Okay. Let's get one more out there. Yeah. And the masculine feels like he's loyal to this person. So he's loyal to whoever he's with. So he's not going to make waves. Okay. That makes sense. He's not going to make waves. Okay. He's, he's loyal. One more. And he's proud. He's proud to be with this person. The masculine loves you. Whoever this is, whoever the masculine is, whoever, you know, the masculine is talking about, they are proud to be with you. We did pull inquisitive, uh, grasshopper and immobile, right? But these are like side cards. Like, like these are cards I'm getting intuitively that these cards are talking more about the masculine's mindset about the spring wedding coming up or the, the commitment coming up, right? So he's still inquisitive, you know, when it says immobile, I know it's a car, but I'm getting with this reading, like these are three cards that like kind of belong back here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not the present cards. Um, this is more about his past. It's like, this is more of the masculine's alternative thought. Like, how the masculine was before he met the person that he's going to marry. It's almost like, off of inquisitive, I'm getting like you met online. Okay, this to know if it's you. Like, this is what I'm saying with these cards. This card's giving me energy. I met you online right? I was inquisitive. I looked at your profile. You know, the masculine met someone and looked at their profile and that's how they became together. And when that happened, the masculine at the time, um, I'm not going to say didn't have a car, but the masculine at the time couldn't go anywhere. It's like the masculine had either hurt his leg or or was something was immobile physically about the masculine at that time. That's how he became online. Okay. It's like you met during a time of life with the masculine where he was um, vulnerable. Okay. So he was immobile, but physically there was like his leg was broken or like his ankle was broken or he had played basketball and dislocated his knee, something like that. He was laid up for a little while. Okay, when he met you, that's how this relationship started, okay? And remember, Grasshopper Spirit came out. That's like always, to me, this card in this deck is always like, um, kind of like I'm a player. Like, like if he was not immobile due to something, it's something he did. It's like an accident, not like a car. Well, it could have been a car accident, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting like a sport injury. The masculine met you online when he had a sport injury, something that had him laid up where he couldn't go outside. Okay. And that's when he like clicked on your profile. I'm getting it online, clicked on your profile and saw it could have also been, I'm hearing like Craigslist. Okay. Something that was like, it's not like, um, it could be like Facebook or, but it's not one of those. It's not a traditional site you met on. It's not a site for matching people. It's a site. Like if you're looking to buy a basketball, if you're looking to buy, I, I don't know, a bicycle or like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a site like offer up or something like that where it's a site that's not made for people to get together. But because the masculine was so laid up, he was immobile, he was just going and trying to meet people because he has this grasshopper spirit, right? He has a spirit where he likes to meet people and talk to people. It's almost like your masculine, the way you know it's you, and I don't mean this disrespectfully, but it's kind of like your masculine before he met you, he liked to collect people's phone numbers, if that makes sense. He liked to have like a list of women's phone numbers. So in case something didn't work out, he always had another phone number that he could call. That's why that grasshopper spirit is out there. Okay. He was a free soul, a free, 
free agent, if you will. But when he met you, he focused on you enough because he was laid up. He couldn't go anywhere. So he focused on you and that's when your relationship grew, okay? All right, so let's see. So that's what the masculine has to say. So the masculine is worrying about the spring wedding, right? Something spring union. There's a union in the spring with the masculine, okay? All right, so let's continue and let's see what's going on with Kipper, right? Uh, with what Kipper says. So masculine, don't worry. You know, you're, you're worrying. And a lot of that worrying comes from because the masculine didn't know you. The masculine didn't know you before meeting you. You understand? Like, well, no one knows you before meeting you. But I mean, like, the masculine only knows what you told him. He doesn't know anything else. So for, for your masculine, he doesn't like that. Yeah. Look, a message. <laughs> you see, guys? A message. Yeah. So he had a message to you, right? That's, that's, the, that's the inbox kind of thing, you know? That's what I'm saying. You guys went online. And it wasn't like a... It wasn't a... I'm about to show you the card that came out to show you how this gift works. Um, it wasn't, again, it wasn't a site that you meet people on. I want to say, I really hear offer up. It's like he was looking for a bike. <laughs> he was looking for a bike. I don't know if you were selling the bike or if you were also looking for a bike. It's almost like you two were in competition and then he decided to click you on. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know how offer up works. I just hear about it, but I just heard it offer up. So I don't know. Okay. But it's a site like that. Look at what came out. Marriage. There we go. There's the gift. Yeah. So there is a marriage. Like I said, it's going to happen. Don't, don't think because of this reading, it's not going to happen. No, the masculine is going to marry you. It's, there's no question about it. It's just, he has to get through his head, his own thoughts about his past. He's got to get through his head from this, from getting rid of the grasshopper spirit. Again, you met when you were immobile, you know, he got you online, right? But he's proud of you. He cares about you. He feels that you're loyal. He's loyal to you. He is tired. He is worn. I'm getting the tired and the worn is because he keeps going in his head about this. Okay. Um, but right now there is a caution message. And I said in the beginning that he feels that both of you are mirroring each other. It's almost like the real you is not out. And that may be what's causing him the concern. That may be what's causing this concern here, okay, um, is that he, you know, it's it's like he doesn't know you. He doesn't know you, he feels. He feels because you're getting along too well. Every single thing that he likes, you like. Every single thing that you like, he likes. But he feels that each one is mirroring. And he, it's almost like if he gets into the relationship, the marriage with you, you're going to become a different person. And he doesn't like that, okay? Um, yeah, but he wants to steer. The masculine wants to steer your relationship. Um, he's having a hard time telling you that, though. He doesn't know how to tell you because right now, this is the two of you. So it's like you're in honeymoon energy, if that makes sense. You're in honeymoon energy about to get married, okay? So that, and anyone who's been in a long-term relationship, you know that honeymoon energy. It's very um, uh, intoxicating and it's beautiful, but it's not real. Everyone's on their best behavior. That's what I'm saying. Everyone's on their best behavior. He wants you to get off your best behavior, right? He wants to steer, okay? He, he's a traditional man. He wants to steer masculine, okay? You're a soulmate to him. Okay, even though y'all met in a weird kind of way, meaning not weird to meet online. I mean, I've done it too, but it's just the the online venue. It's like Craigslist, offer up. It's like one of those sites. It, it could even be like um Amazon Marketplace or something. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like one of those websites that really is not to hook people up. It is to buy something. And you guys met that way. But he feels that you're his soulmate. His future right now with you is uncertain. Okay, because the only reason it's uncertain, again, is because it is mirroring. Because he doesn't, he feels like there's another you and you're not showing it, okay? So show who you are. Yeah, here's the marriage and it's going to be in the spring, so you're fine. Don't worry about it, okay? It's going to happen. It's just, this is how he's feeling and this is confirmed, there's the marriage, okay? Let's get one more Kipper on this, one more Kipper. Ooh, I just dropped every card almost in Kipper. And when I dropped it, look, this is the one that came up. Courtship, see? <laughs> See, the marriage is going to happen. I don't take it because it was on the floor. But yeah, see, courtship came up. That's what I'm saying. This is not like, a, oh, am I going to get married? No, it's going to happen, right? There is a message of concern and message came out again. So again, the message of concern I'm getting is the mirroring. The masculine does not believe that he knows you. 
he that's where the concern is coming in. He doesn't know. He he feels like when you marry him or when y'all get married, you're going to become a different person. And then he's going to be like, oh, wait a minute. Who is this? And what did I get myself into? Okay, so let's build a little bit on this message of concern. Um, I know exactly that's what it is. The marriage is going to happen. But he feels like, you know, there's more to you than you're letting him know. Okay, so let's get into this. What is this message of, of oh, gosh, my goodness. What is wrong with me today? All right, so what is this message of concern with the masculine? Like, what is it? Like, we know, you know, it's, it's nerve-wracking getting married, blah, blah, blah. We know that already. But what is the message of concern? Um, What is it? Yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay. What else? <clears throat> so he's not sure about his own performances, okay? Page of Wands in reverse. Mm. I'm getting already, like I said, the masculine doesn't know if when you get married, is it going to be the same? Because all these cards are in reverse. Yeah. The masculine is worried that even though, you know, page of wands is in reverse and king of wands is in reverse, right? That's that whole, you know, the, 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 uh, sexual energy and all that, you know, um, information it's in reverse. Okay. So he doesn't know if, when you get married with that mirroring, if that's what you're going, if that's who you're going to be, he feels like, like you're the magician, I want to say like you're fake. That's how he feels. The masculine feels like you're controlling this whole situation. You're showing him who you want him to be or who you want him to see. And he feels like there's another you. It almost feels like he feels he's being tricked. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, look, here he is. There we go. The masculine, the emperor. There he is. Yeah, he's coming out. He's he's speaking up through this reading. He's saying, are you a magician? Like, are you controlling this are you showing me only what you want me to see I want to see everything it's almost like he wants a warranty on you if that makes sense and you know what now that I said warranty he may be asking you for a prenup because he's really worried about this yeah he's really worried look what came up nine of swords in reverse okay so it's not nine of swords he's not currently worried right it's in reverse Okay, so he did have worry in the past about this situation with you, about you being a magician, you being someone as he's the emperor, he feels he's the catch. He's like, wait, who are you? I feel like you're controlling this. You're going to show me someone different. It's like he wants a warranty and I'm thinking it's a prenup, right? Because to me, warranty would mean prenup and look what came out. Justice. Yep. That's what he wants. Your masculine is going to ask you for a prenup mm -hmm. because this energy here. Because of this, where is it? This, this is why he wants a prenup. Mm -hmm. Because he doesn't know, he feels like he doesn't know who you are. Mm -hmm. That's the message of concern. He wants a prenup. Okay, let's continue. He wants to protect his assets. Look, devil in reverse is not toxic. I just said he wants to protect his assets. It's not toxic. So don't take it that way, okay? I mean, you do what you want to do. Take it how you want to take it. I'm just advising you. What he's doing is actually smart, right? Because he's the prenup that he wants. Listen, this is going to be interesting. What I'm getting intuitively, the prenup that he wants is only going to last a few years. It's a warranty. Remember I said he wants a warranty? It's only going to last a few years. It's going to be like he's going to get the prenup and he's going to present it to you. Um, I'm getting intuitively, you'll take it because you, you are in love with him, but the masculine is going to get this prenup and he's going to then shred it up in two years. Okay. Two years is the number. Okay. So it's a warranty. That's why I said he wants a warranty on you. See, he wants a prenup, but it's only going to be a short period of time. He will shred it up. Okay. But he doesn't, because of that mirroring, he doesn't understand it's not computing in his head. You know, we know masculines have to have everything computing the right way in their head. It's not toxic what he wants to do. Devil in reverse. It's not toxic. It makes sense. It's like a warranty, <laughs> you know? And for him, it's justice. It's dark justice, but it's justice because he'll feel more secure as a man. He'll feel more secure going into this. Yeah, look, intuition. Yeah, he's using his intuition right now. I'm not saying that you are... Um, feminine. Um, I'm not saying that you are a person of feminine energy. I'm not saying that you are um, shady or you have ulterior motives. No, 
because there's so much mirroring going on and no one's leading the relationship. Because when someone leads the relationship, you get to see them in a light that is a protector's light. And you get to see them as being stable for you. So it gives a person more, um, what do you call it? It gives them more confidence in who they're choosing to marry. But because that's not happening in your relationship, you or the masculine, no one's taking control. What happens is he doesn't know. His intuition is kicking in and saying, what's going to happen when you finally do say I do in the spring? What's going to happen? Okay. And he's scared about that. He doesn't know. Men want stability too. Men are hunters. But unfortunately, this masculine, and I'm not saying it to be disrespectful, this masculine has forgotten how to hunt. That's what I'm going to say. He forgot how to hunt. He's got to learn it again. King of Cups in reverse. There you go. Right. So some of his love, it's kind of like I said, it's in reverse. I said he forgot how to hunt. A hunter also knows how to show love. He doesn't know how to do that. Right. He's just it's like it's like he's given up a lot for this relationship because he does love you, but it's going against who he is. Right. He is a hunter. He has forgotten how to hunt, though. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. He's not even like even like in, uh, intimately. He's he's not the way he should be. Yeah. What's going on in this relationship? Like, what is this? Like, no one's leading. Y'all are just kind of, are y'all just hanging out? Yeah. Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah. No one's really like, I don't know. If you guys were here with me in person, I would tell you to date more. If you live together, somebody move out. Okay. Because you really got to get to know each other. You don't know each other right now, but you're willing to fight for this relationship. Good. You're willing to fight for this relationship. Both of you are. Um, I would just advise you, if you were here with me in person, I would tell somebody to move out that house because you need to kind of, you need to get to know each other, right? Eight of Wands came up as well. You need to get to know each other from a distance because it's hard to kind of, it's hard. And I know a lot of people move in after like two weeks. I get it, right? But it's hard to get to know someone when you are living under the same roof, even though it's like counterintuitive, you think, oh, you know them when you're living under one roof. Yes, you know them, but it's like, it's amount, it's an amount of stress that's put on the relationship because there's no escaping you. See, when someone can escape you, when things get a little hectic or whatever, and you're just dating, it gives them time to calm down. Or it gives them time to regroup. Or it gives them time to just be with whoever they want to be with. When you're living with someone and it's a brand new relationship and you're just starting out, it is difficult because you already, like you don't know how to ask that person you need space. You don't know how to ask them for that because you don't want to hurt their feelings, right? And then that's where that mirroring comes in, right? No one is being brutally honest with each other, okay? All right, so let's continue. Yeah, so there's hope here. This relationship has hope. It's not going to break up. This relationship's not going to break up. It's just you need to modify it a little bit. Just modify it a little bit. Yeah, tell me more. Yeah, nine of wands, exactly. Right, so there's a lot of decisions that have to be made. Modify this relationship. It's a good relationship, though. Um, it's just you guys moved in real quick, very quick. Eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, beautiful. No one's walking away. Uh-uh, no one's walking away from this. It's just, it's just you guys moved in too quickly. Let me get one more, please. Can you tell me about this move in with this relationship? Because I feel like y'all moved in a week after knowing each other. Eight of swords in reverse. Yeah, you know, um, it's like the two of you are yearning for each other and you couldn't deal without each other. So you decided to move in, but that's that honeymoon phase y'all were in. Two of cups, you're not going anywhere. This relationship is solid. Okay, so it's it's like, you know, you, and I just saw Four of Swords. Yeah, you were partying, hanging out. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This relationship was a very quick relationship. You moved in very quickly, but now the masculine is second guessing because of the mirroring, right? Because of this, right? And I'm going to keep showing the cards so someone can look at it and get it, okay? This is what he's worrying about. Right, because see, look, you got one face in the mirror looking one way and then the other person over here with a hand over their face. That's what he's worried about. What's hiding over here, right? Like, what's going to happen when we say I do? And there, there is no more um, option for someone to move back home that quickly. Or there's no more option for him to say, you know what, this is not going to work. Let's leave, you know. And whoever this masculine is, um, I want to say he has money. 
he has money. He's got assets to lose, okay? So because he has assets to lose, again, I really strongly feel there is a prenup coming. Please, ladies, please do, or masculines in the energy, whatever. Um, please do not start freaking out, okay? He wants to prenup because he's having these concerns now, but guess what? He is going to, um, uh, this deck is that I'm going to use for the feminine is good, but it's just minus one card because it has like some nudity and stuff on it. Um, so yeah, so basically, yeah, this is how you feel feminine. Yep. Joy. So basically he's going to tear it up in like two years. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's not keeping it. Yeah. Harvest. Yeah. Look, joy harvest. This is the feminine that he's in love with. Or the person, the other person that he's in love with. This is who you are. You are celestial alignment. Look at that. Blessing, blessing, right? And it's Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, okay? Um, celestial alignment. Yeah. This is this relationship is meant to be with this. It's meant to be, right? Harvest and joy. Harvest is bringing in everything that you worked on. Every Everything that your relationship worked out on is coming to, to pass. It's coming to pass. And the two of you are joy, right? You're in love. And before these cards came out, we saw that um, two of cups is here. So we know the relationship's not going anywhere. We saw hope. Hope is here. And we also saw eight of cups in reverse. No one's walking away. Yeah, this is not something to freak out about. Just understand, when he presents you with the prenup, as he really will, in his mind, it's a warranty. Okay? In two years, he's going to um, to to rip that card uh not the card. He's going to rip up the prenup. He's not going to keep it. It's just, it's a warranty, basically. I keep saying that. Warranty is the first word that came up, right? You always take the first word that comes out your mouth because that's the right one, okay? So, yeah, so this is what's going on. So, congratulations, somebody. Congratulations. This is what your masculine's going through. Okay, let's get some Alice in Wonderland really quickly on it just to see what else is going on with this. Uh, congratulations. This is a beautiful relationship. This is met, This relationship is ordained by the divine. It is ordained by the divine, okay? This is your person. This is your soulmate. Remember, soulmate came out here. So your masculine thinks it's soulmate and you are, you think it's a soulmate. Y'all are soulmates, okay? Matt, um, divine has ordered the two of you to be together. This is an order, okay? So you two have found each other. Congratulations. Congratulations. Invite spirit guide. Okay, here we go. Follow the white rabbit. Oh, these cards and my glasses, which I need. Curiosity meets opportunity. Yeah, right? There's an opportunity here. And again, that's celestial alignment. So we're done. Let's just get one more, okay? Uh, yeah, changed in a night. You have changed quickly. Yeah, you're growing up with your masculine. Wonderful. Card, uh, reading is over. It keeps, it keeps repeating. Let me get you a blessing on this, okay? Let me get you a blessing and that'll be it. All right, that'll be it, okay? I wish I remembered what the short was. I just did a short. Um, it kind of feels like the same thing. And that happens so often with me. Sometimes I don't put the shorts out because they, they sound like the reading. It's weird. You know, and it's not even me projecting it. It's like the cards, they come out. It's the same thing, basically, in different decks. And I'm like, oh, forget it. I, <laughs> I'm not going to do this because it's the same reading, you know? So yeah, so let's continue. Yeah, detoxify, okay? So feminine, I'm I'm saying too, it's feminine and masculine. Um, detoxify. Get a lot of these negative thoughts out your head. Get a lot of these um past relationship hurts out your head. You're getting married, okay? You're getting married. And up, oh, look at what it says, go wild. <laughs> Have fun with it, right? This is ordained. This is something ordained through um, divine. Divine has ordained this relationship, okay? And I'm gonna leave that as the last card on top, okay? All right, everyone, so have a blessed and beautiful day. Spirit guide, bye.